Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time of joining us, please do me a favor and click on the subscription button so that each time I drop any video, you will get it. There is a trending news going on online concerning the humanitarian minister in Nigeria. That's Dr. Beta Edu. So apparently, she transferred a humongous amount of money from government coffers, from government account to a private account. So, because of the, um, they say that they are going to use it to pay the less vulnerable, you know. So, my question is, is it right for a government official, a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to transfer a fund, she wrote to the Accountant General of the Federation, that directing the Accountant General to transfer about 500 and something million into a private account. Now, this incident is generating a lot of buzz online now there's a news that sahara reporters made about it so they said tinobu's humanitarian affairs minister writes accountant general directs payments of public funds into a private account hope you get that so let me just run down the the story about it dr beta edu the minister of humanitarian affairs and poverty alleviation asked the Accountant General of the Federation, Mrs. Oluwatosin Sakirat Medin, to send public funds to a private account according to a letter obtained by Sahara reporters. Oniyelu Bridget Mojusola identified as a project manager by the minister. A letter from the minister with the reference number to the Accountant General of the Federation, Mrs. Medin, dated December 20, 2023 asks that over 585 million should be sent to a private account. The letter said to be signed by Minister Dr. Edu is titled Mandates for Payment of Grant for Vulnerable Groups in Aquaibum State, Cross River, Lagos and Ogun State respectively. It reads, I hereby approve the payment of the cumulative sum of 585 million 100 and 89,500 Naira. These are payments for program and activities of the Renewed Hope Grant for vulnerable groups. The details shows that 219,429,750 Naira, Naira was for 2023 grant for vulnerable groups in Aquaibum State. The next one is 73,828,750 Naira was for 2023 grants for vulnerable groups in Cross River State. 219 million 462,250 naira was for 2023 grants for vulnerable groups in Lagos State, while 72 million 468,750 was for 2023 grants for vulnerable groups in Ogun State. The letter said the payment of 885 million 189,500 naira. The total sum should be made to a UBA account with the account number 2036 belonging to Onielu Bridget Mojisola. So that's the account number the, she instructed or mandated the Accountant General of the Federation to wire the money into. This payment should be made from the National Social Investment Program account with account number 0020-284-61037 to the project accountants detail listed above is added these are the contents of the letter so a system that allows the accountant general of the federation to send public funds into private account based on requests by a minister encourages corruption if a minister can ask the accountant general of the federation to move public funds into a private account and the agf will do it then it is no wonder the last agf stole plenty of money they now gave a detail of another incident hap that happened with the similar issue. So they now say the EFCC, that's the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, is prosecuting former Accountant General of the Federation, Ahmed Idris, and Jeffrey Akindele, alongside Mohamed Usman, and Gezawa Commodity Market and Exchange Limited on charges of fraudulent diversion of public funds to the tune of 109.5 million. That's in Naira. And Idris Akindele 
was accused of committing criminal breaches of trust while being entrusted with certain properties to wit 84 million 390,000 between February and November 2021 by dishonestly receiving the said amount from the federal government through Godfrey Olusegun Akindele trading under the name and style of Olusegun Akindele and Co. So they are just referencing a similar thing that happened in the past whereby those people are now being prosecuted. And what they are trying to say is if those people should be prosecuted, why won't the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs not to be prosecuted? So they continued. As a public servant, Idris was also accused of collecting an equivalent of 15.1 million naira from Akindele between February and December 2021 to accelerate the payment of 13% derivation to nine oil-rich states in the country through the office of the AGF. You know, when all these things are happening, it goes through the office of the AGF because that is the Accountant General of the Federation. Tala reporters reported that it exclusively obtained documents showing how the ruling APC moved 229 million 188,500 Naira to Kogi, Bayelsa, and Imo State through the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation ahead of November 11, 2023 governorship election. The issue is that I don't know if, I don't know why, or rather, I don't know if it is through this ministry that they are moving money. And even some people are now calling for the ministry to be scrapped because this is the second time they are moving, as in this one is the first one that happened through this ministerial or through the Humanitarian Affairs Ministry. And now again, similar thing is happening. A breakdown of the disbursement of the fund shows that 72,374,500 was moved to Kogi State on November 6, 2023 through the Director of Finance Accounts, National Social Investment Agency, just five days before the governorship election. Also, on November 6, the Ministry approved and moved 72 million 423,250 million to Bielsa State under the Ministry's 2023 grant for Vulnerable Groups program. I don't know if you if you understand the the motive or rather the way these things are moving. Each time, each election period in any state that APC is is uh, governing, this is the way they move funds through the Humanitarian Affairs Ministry. On November 3rd. 2023, a total of 81 million was moved to Imo State under the same guise of providing grants to vulnerable groups just seven days before the governorship election. So you can see that anytime an election is about to occur in all these states governed by APC, somehow they will move fund through the humanitarian ministry. According to the documents, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Edu, personally approved the moving of the funds to the Three states. On October 31st, 2023, the Nigeria House of Representatives summoned Idu to brief the Chamber on the status of the federal government's conditional cash transfer program to 15 million households. In the motion of urgent public importance, the House expressed concern over the handling of the program, citing a lack of transparency and alleged fraudulent practice. President Bola Ahmed Tidobu launched the conditional cash transfer program in October as part of his efforts to address poverty and vulnerability in the country. The program aimed to provide monthly cash transfer of 25,000 to each of the 15 million beneficiaries, each of the 15 million beneficiary household for three months. Now, I'm going to read something to you that the, one of the aides to this better Edu wrote on Twitter. Her name is Ada. She is known as Ada Nambra. She countered what Sahara reporters wrote. So let me just run down what she wrote here. Ada Nambra said, Who was the letter addressed to? Accountant General, showing you Dr. Edu went through the right channel to get these funds approved. These funds were approved by Mr. President before it was released to the project accountant, Mrs. Bridget. Project accountants in the civil service are accountants that move that work with the Office of the Accountant General. They are designated to each social intervention program implemented by the federal government. Read the civil service rule and stay informed. Dr. Better cannot get approval from NSIPA accounts without presidential approval. This letter shows how mature she is 
and accountable with the public funds, unlike the fellow that don't follow the procedure of spending government funds, but went ahead to remove billions within 48 hours to account, to account that are not designated for federal funds to be paid in. Moreover, the GVG program is being implemented throughout the country. Kogi and Cross River was done in December, and, th and thousands of Nigerians benefited from it. If you have a, if you benefit to make we know me, I no benefit anything. Other state date for the launch will be announced soon. The funds are paid to the GVG project's accountant, who uses PSP to dis to disburse the funds, because she is a federal accountant and only a federal accountant can retire and give accounts of this fund, and that's the accountant account detail seen here. So she said she concluded by saying, "Let's study, read, and know." what we are circulating nigerians stay informed so this person came in defense of dr beta idu she is the national program manager renewed hope shelter for the poor refugees and the idp so that's our own jurisdiction under the humanitarian stuff so another person has also countered beta idu obey olua on twitter said mrs beta idu has a lot of questions to answer on these particular cases Let's agree the supposed song was approved by the president. Why is it in a private account? This is the question. Why is it in a private account? Are they not supposed to pay it directly to the people who are supposed to be the beneficiaries? Those people, I believe they have bank accounts. So they are supposed to pay it from the government account directly to the beneficiary's account instead of paying it directly or rather paying it into a private account. So how are they going to account for the money? Is there any accountability in this process? So I just want you guys to think about this and drop your thoughts in about it. So thank you so much for listening and don't forget to like my video and also drop your thoughts at the comment section. Thank you so much.